What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a brand new Pokemon in the Pokemon universe, Iron Boulder. Now, Iron Boulder, I have not showcased on the channel yet, haven't did it in casual battles, so this is going to be the first time I'm actually using this Pokemon. And it's going to be a lot of fun, considering we're using it with a bunch of meta Pokemon, have a nice little ranked team for you guys. But Iron Boulder is a rock and psychic type with access to a brand new move called Mighty Cleave. Mighty Cleave is a 95 base power move, 100% accuracy, and on top of that, it hits through protects. Really, really cool. I don't think it just hits through protects, I'm pretty sure it breaks protects. So it's gonna hit it, and then if another Pokemon's going into that slot, that Pokemon is no longer protected, and you can just kinda double down into it and do some big time damage. So really cool Pokemon, super excited to be using it. It's rocking the Quirk Drive as its ability, alongside with the Booster Energy S item, and then its other three moves consist of Sacred Sword, Sword stands for that plus two attack setup and protect for its final move. Like I mentioned, the rest of this team is pretty meta. You got Incineroar, who is top tier in regulation F, alongside with Urshfu and Tornadus combo, setting the rain, doing some big time damage from there. But on top of that, Urshfu is Choice Scarf, so it's going to be able to outspeed most Pokemon, doing big damage at the same time. Final two Pokemon on today's team, one of them is going to be Rillaboom, very, very solid all around in the meta, and Goldigo, who's such a great special attacker, especially paired up with Tornadus. If you're able to Tailwind, go into Make It Rain, it's always big time damage. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto the ladder. Let's grab some wins with Iron Boulder. So guys, since I don't play unless I'm recording, my rank dropped. So I haven't played in almost a full day. We are now sitting at 1751, but we're nine and two on the rank ladder. Absolutely lighting it up. Been having a blast playing the rank battles for you guys. But this team right here was made by Poke Sports. You guys can see their name in the top of the team. If you guys want to go check out the channel, we'll be linking it down in the description below alongside the Poke Pace. So if you guys want to check out this team more in depth. And something I forgot to mention during today's team preview is if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, there's a donation link and a membership link down in the description below. So if you guys want to become a member, support channel, it'd be much appreciated. But we're hopping into our first match going up against a Hisuian Gujra slash Latias team. Right with Annihilate, who's always a big time problem. Don't really like Annihilate, but they can set up screens here. Now, screens could be rather annoying, right? I kind of want to bring an Urshu just to deal with the screens. We do have Taunt, which is pretty cool, but I can't Taunt the Grim Snarl because we are Prankster and he is Dark type. So that's rather annoying. I could fake it out and maybe set up a Source Dance turn one. That's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. We do have Booster Energy on this thing. I would rather have Clear Amulet, but let me see what we're Booster Energy up. I'm gonna boost up speed, so this thing is just cooking. He's just cooking, he really is. He really is just cooking. Um, huh, I could go maybe Tornadus turn one with the Covert Cloak, kind of like that, and maybe alongside with like Urshifu, or even like Golden Go. I don't think that'd be bad, Golden Go and Tornadus. I like that, we can bring Iron Boulder in the back end alongside with Urshifu. Just gotta watch out for Water Absorb Ogre Pond, that could be a threat. That could be a big, a bit, a bit too much of a threat, but I do like Urshfu. I definitely like Urshfu. So we're gonna lock this in. We're locking it down. Ready to get after it with Iron Boulder in match number one for today's video. We'd love to grab ourselves a win to get things started. We'd love to do that. But yeah, I really want to lead Iron Boulder. A lot of the Iron Boulder teams I was looking at to use today had Clear Amulet, and Clear Amulet would have been perfect. If we did have Clear Amulet. I probably would have let it, but I do like Booster Energy to have that amazing speed on this Pokemon. They end up going into Grimstarl and Annihilate. Something I don't really mind at all, right? I could Tailwind boost. I can go straight into Make It Rain if I want to. Um, other than that, uh, you could go Light Screen. You could go Light Screen. Let me see Golden Ghost Speed real quick. Are you going to outspeed... The, what's it called? You might outspeed that Annihilate. Because I'm thinking of maybe just popping a Leak Wind Storm here. And then just throwing a Shadow Ball in this slot. I think we just double down to Annihilate here. Just gonna end up with Draw Annihilate. Okay, that's cool. I don't mind that too much. Maybe you think I'm going into a Steel move, and yeah, that's exactly what you think I'm going into. So you go into the Incineroar. We're popping a nice lovely Shadow Ball. We're going for a Bleak Wind Storm, and you're probably just setting up a Lich right? No, you're not. You're not. Incineroar's gonna be able to dodge this. Grimstone's gonna take a nice chunk of damage, and I kind of wish we went into the Steel move at this point. The Shadow Ball's flying. The Shadow Ball comes out here. Not really doing any damage regardless. And he goes for a Spirit Break into Golden Go. So Golden Go is going to get a special attack drop. Which we don't really like, right? We don't really like that. Now's not a bad turn to actually swap here. 
But I could actually set up Nasty Plot. I could Terrasilize and set up Nasty Plot. That's not a bad turn right there. That would not be a bad turn. I mean, you can't fake me out. I'm just gonna go Bleak Wind Storm. I'm gonna Terrasilize here just so Fire doesn't do crazy damage to me. And I'm gonna set up the Nasty Plot. We're gonna get Golden Go Cook in here. Even though I see that you are a uh, drop in Spirit Breaks, but I doubt you go for another Spirit Break into me, right? I doubt you double down and go into another Spirit Break into this Dragon. Dragon Pokemon slot, right? We're gonna try size in Dragon, just dodge a Fire move if Fire Blitz wants to come through here. They do end up setting up the Light Screen. And Bleak and Storm's gonna connect. Beautiful. Chunking up some damage. And are you going for that Flare Blitz, like I think you are? I'm setting up a plot. We're getting back on that attack one. Plus one on special attack right now. And there's a Flare Blitz going into ooh, Tornado slot. Does Tornadus now take some damage? I think now's a perfect time to just pop a Make It Rain and go into a uh, a Tailwind at the same time. Get speed for the rest of the squad. Kind of go from there, right? Not bad. Would not want to be bad. I think I'm cool with that. Tailwind, Make It Rain. I could set up maybe a Rain Dance, but I'd rather get off Tailwind than Rain Dance, to be honest with you guys. To be honest, so I could see a parting shot. I could definitely see Incineroar swap it out right now. I'm saving it for later. But he's just going to stay in here, and he's probably just going to pop another Flare Blitz. So we're going to get this Tailwind off. I'm going to pop a nice little Mega Rain. You're just going to parting shot into Tornadus. Okay. I'm surprised at that. I'm surprised at the Tornadus parting shot, right? So he's going to Withdraw Grimstrong. That's such a smart swap. Such a smart swap. And he's going to go into. Wow, Grimstrong gets off that Light Chain. He parting shot right out of there. They're playing really good here. Really, really good. And I think they're just going to Flare Blitz my Tornadus down. I'm curious to see who they go into. Annihilate comes back out here. Annihilate back on the field. Make It Rain's going to fly here. How much damage is this really going to do? Nothing crazy. Though. Light Train's helping out tremendously. My special attack goes back to normal, and he's just going to go for a knockoff and take off my leftovers. I do an absurd amount of damage at the same time. They're going to set up the rain just so we don't have to deal with Incineroar and pick up for Shadow Ball, but there's a hot chance that they might just, they might just Terrasilize here, right? I could swap Tornadus maybe, but no, I kind of want to set up this rain dance for later usages. So yeah, we're definitely going to set up the rain dance. I think we just try to go for Shadow Ball here and we kind of force Annihilate. Oh, cool. He's actually not going to Terrasilize. Oh, I thought he was. We end up setting up the Rain Dance. Shadow Ball is going to connect here. I still have Terror. This should chunk up some nice damage here. But doesn't pick up the KO due to the Late Screen. And he's just going to be able to go for Rage Fist and start chunking up some damage. Rage Fist, not KOing, which is big time. And a knockoff is going to double down. And now he's going to pick up the KO. Okay, so now we have the Rain out here. We have Tailwind. Now's a really good time just to go into... Uh, just to go into... What's it called? Urshifu, right? Got the rain set up. We might as well. We're going to choice into certain strikes. Now, the real question is, do we think they have Ogre Pond in the back end? That's my only problem here. Is Ogre Pond in the back end. Only problem. Legit is the only problem. So, I think from here, we're just going to pop a Bleak Wind Storm. I don't know if that can take out Annihilate. And I think we just Surge and Strikes into Annihilate at the same time. I mean, you can Parting Shot at me. You can go for a knockoff. Um, that would just take off my choice scarf, but we already have some speed, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure Annihilate dies out here. It ends up withdrawing Annihilate. Do not tell me you have Ogre Pond. Do not tell me you have Ogre Pond. No, it's gonna be Grimstar. That's cool. So I think he's trying to set up, like, Reflect or something. He's gonna die out here, no problem. He ends up withdrawing Incineroar. Is that Ogre Pond? I'm curious to see. Yes, that's Ogre Pond. So they, they did end up bringing Ogre Pond. Surge Strike's gonna finish off Grimstar, no problem. I'm choice now into Surge Strike. Which is a little annoying. And I think they just go back into Incineroar here. And this is where things get really, really tough for us. This is where things get really tough. Bleak Wind Storm connects. Give me a crit. I wish we got a crit. Maybe a speed drop on top of that would be beautiful. No, nothing. No luck for us. Now, this is where things get really hard for us. Because now they got Annihilate on the field. I'm choice into Surgeon Strikes. Follow Me is definitely popping out here, right? And I think we just... I want to taunt you. I want to taunt you, but you're going for follow me. I do want to taunt you. I could go into the boulder. Um, 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna swap it to the boulder here because we we know follow me's coming out. We already know follow me's coming out here. We're still gonna taunt this thing. I don't want it to be able to follow me later. So I'm gonna go into iron boulder here. And I'm gonna cork drive up. The cork drive comes out here. I am scared of the rage fist, but I think we should be fine here. We get the speed boost here. And they're gonna end up terrasting. They're gonna terrasize. I think this is annihilate, right? Yeah, annihilate's gonna get the terror type. He's gonna go straight water. Straight water. And this hat this has to be a follow me, right? Yeah, so this is why we want the taunt, and this is why we swapped at the same time. We don't want the uh, water absorb to really just be going crazy. So we end up taunting you. You're not gonna use follow me anymore. And from here, he's just gonna rage fist down. So now with Rage Fist out here, we do have very fast Pokemon. Our Pokemon are going to be able to outspeed all day. We got Choice Scarf. We got all that good stuff. Now it's coming down to the wire. Tailwind's gone. We still outspeed, no problem. Now, the problem here is choosing into our moves. We have Mighty Cleave. We have Sacred Sword. And I think our play would be just to close combat you, right? Yeah, I want to close combat you. I might double down into you. But I also just want to mighty cleave this thing. Get rid of Annihilate. They don't have Reflect Up, which is massive. They could swap into Incineroar, but if they do, I feel like we pick up the KO either way. Yeah, there's a withdrawal into Ogre Pond. And I feel like we pick up this KO regardless. I think we pick up a nice big time double KO regardless, right? I think we do. Attack drops, even attack drops out, our attack is so high, we're using big time stab moves. Mighty Cleave, need you finishing off here. 1 HP? We might just lost on that. We might just lost on 1 HP. A 1 HP bandit. Might have just lost this match, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. Because Annihilate's probably KO my, my boulder now, right? That's absurd. That's absurd. We we I we win this match. We win this match without a 1 HP bandit. 1 HP? Come on now. Come on now. Cause now Ogre Pond comes out here and it should have been 2v1. Which I think close combat and another mighty cleave would have would have KO'd. So I got close combat ready to go. Um This is tough because we have to KO Ogre Pond first. We have to KO Ogre Pond first. He can go for follow me all day. And we have to KO Ogre Pond first because now he's KOing us. And yeah, Mighty Cleave. Yeah, we would have won this all day if that thing didn't li live on one. That sucks, man. That sucks. We would have won this one all day long. He ends up going for Horn Leech. And we lose match number one. Rough one, but still. I thought we played really well, but our opponent just played a tad bit better with those screens and nice little Intimidates. My only problem with the rank system is I do not play enough to get that high of ranks. I'm 9-3. That's an incredible record, but we're only sitting at 2,168 now after that loss. Looking for our first win in today's video. I want to use Iron Boulder a bit more here, but we're going up against a Smeargle and Comfy team. Now, Comfy's looking rather annoying, especially with his Sui and Gudra. Definitely don't like that one bit, but we're going to have to deal with it. We're definitely going to have to deal with that. I kind of want to lead Iron Boulder alongside with a fake out user and maybe try to set up sources. I think that could be really, really good for us. They could go in with an Intimidate user. That would be okay. Do we do the same and go in with our Intimidate user? It is a possibility. It is a possibility. But I'm going to go Iron Boulder here. I'm also going to lead it with Incineroar or Rillaboom. Kind of lean towards Incineroar. Just better moves all around. Intimidate's going to work great. They could go into Gudra if that's the point. We're going to bring Urshifu in the back end. And last but not least, do we bring in Rilla for our final Pokemon? It could be Rilla. It could be Goldigo. And I kind of want to go into Goldigo because of the sheer fact that their team's not that fast. But if they do start getting off some big time defensive boosts with Gudra, it's really only its two hitting moves are going to be Steel and Fighting moves. And Goldigo can kind of counter that. I can set up Nasty Pots from there and kind of get after it. So that's something I actually really, really like. It is something I like. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on. We'll see. But we're looking for our first win. Want to use Iron Boulder a bit more. And I kind of wish Clear Amulet was here. Clear Amulet is just such a good item. Especially with the Incineroars all over the field now. Would have been great to have. But Confi and Primarina come out here. I don't mind that. I do have, I believe, the Grass Terror. No, we have the Fighting Terror type. 
Which is a little rough. Which is a little rough. We definitely want to fake out the what's it called. We definitely want to go into a nice big time fake out into the, uh, the pre marina slot. And the real question is do we set up a sword stance? Heck yeah, we set up a sword stance. It's a lot of fun. We're trying to have fun here. So I'm going to fake out the pre. Um, Comfy, you could be going for maybe like. I don't even know. Ally switch? Did you rock ally switch? Which is kind of scary, but we're still just going to pick out the pre marina and say you were not Cobra Cloak. We get off the sword stance. Loving it. And now we're plus two. Now, Comfy, what are you doing? That's the real question. What are you doing, Comfy? You're just going to pop it. That's something we don't like. That is something we don't like. They pop a tricker. So from here, I think Mighty Cleave is going to be a play. Uh, do we go after Primarina? Or do we go after... Yeah, we're going to go after Primarina here. And from here... Actually, I could maybe just protect. I could maybe just protect and party shot. That's not a bad play. And that's more so going to be my play. I'm going to protect. I'm going to go for a party shot. I'm just going to lower Primarina's special attack. Trick room for the comfy. No bueno. No bueno at all. He goes for a Giga Drain into the Green Marina. You're popping weak this policy. Now we're starting to look a little scared. That's terrifying. That's terrifying right there. That is terrifying. So Green Marina goes plus two on special deck. Weakness policy, Green Marina. And a liquid voice, hyper voice coming out here. Incinerate. Soak this up, please. Not looking good. No bueno. Not looking good. Um, Golden Goat can come out here, which I kind of like. And we might just want to pop Make It Rain. And at the same time, we might want to Terrastalize. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to Terrastalize. We're going to go for the Mighty Cleave to finish you off. And we're just going to go into a nasty bot here. So I want to get away from the Rock Typing because Liquid Voice looking terrifying, right? Liquid Voice looking terrifying. But I was, wasn't really expecting the Weakness Policy to pop off with that token. Really weak this policy going crazy. On a pre marina? That just throw me off. But we go into the fighting terror type. You go for a floral healing. You're gonna get some HP back. I'm not too worried about that, because as long as we eat up these shots, pre marina's dead. Like pre marina dies. Hyper voice comes out here. My Pokemon are able to soak. Beautiful. Make it gonna fly. And this should be an easy dump to KO, right? Oh wow, it's actually not doing that much damage to Comfy. We got a crit on pre, but pre's dead all day. Pre marina is dead. So Mighty Cleave coming out here. Bop, see you later, pre marina. The Prima Arena is gone. You probably do have Draining Kiss, which is actually looking kind of scary up against the... Uh, up against the um, Iron Boulder. <clears throat> but I'm curious to see what Pokemon come out here, because we're, we're definitely fast on the with Iron Boulder. So maybe I'll swap Iron Boulder, but I'm plus two. Plus one now. Let's see what we're but Cinnor with the fly out here, he might read me protecting. I'm not even gonna lie. He might read me protecting. And I think from here we just have to attack you. And just straight up pop and make it rain. Yeah, I'm down with that. I don't I I think you're gonna try to make a read on my protect here. Considering you already seen Iron Boulder protect, you know you can't fake out the uh the golden go. I don't really think he fakes out the iron boulder. I think he just leaves it be. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he does. He's gonna go into a fire blitz in this slot. And or temper fire, whatever. And you're just gonna KO Gold to go. So I make the nice little read of that going on here. Um now from here, we should pick up the KO no problem onto Incineroar. Which we do. I'm still plus one, I'm hitting like a try. And they're going into their final Pokemon. And we're going into our final Pokemon. With, I think, only one turn left in Trick Room, right? I'm hoping it's one turn. Two turns will be a little annoying, because Gudra is now here. Gudra is here, and they still have Terra. Okay, so Urshifu comes out here. And there is one turn left in Trick Room. So that is actually beautiful. So I'm just going to protect you from here. And do I close combat, or do I Surgeon Strikes? This is just a problem. This is a big-time problem. I can guarantee the crits. But at the same time, I think we're going to go into this. Because I think he do he is going to Terrasalize the Gudra. I think he might Terrasalize the Gudra. And he does. So this is a good call for me to go into my Surge Strikes with guaranteed crits. I think it's a big time play for us. And if we can get rid of Comfy here, 
That would be even better. And you go into flying type. Oh. Like I said, if we can get rid of Confi. You don't have Terra Blast, do you? You don't have Terra Blast, do you? You're gonna get back a lot of HP to that. You don't have Terra Blast, do you? You don't have Terra Blast, do you? Okay, you go into Iron Head, that's all. That's actually really good for us. It's actually really good. Can certain strikes KO? It might KO. I think it does. That'd be big time. Come on, need you. I need you. Oh, yeah, it's gonna KO. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Because now the Iron Boulder outspeeds. They're in a terrible terror type. And we should be able to finish off in one turn. He has no first turn priority moves. That's looking beautiful. And we wasted out Trickling. Working out perfectly with Iron Boulder. So now we can Mighty Cleave. We are still plus one, correct? Beautiful. Awesome. Lovely. And I can follow that up with Certain Strikes, which is now neutral because they Terrastalize. So what a match for us. What a match for us. Mighty Cleave should just dump on this thing. Oh my lord. I love you, Iron Boulder. Yo, such a good play call for us to keep attacking with the Iron Boulder instead of protecting. Reading that he's, that he's going to go after Golden Go. Worked out perfectly and it won us the match. Add that one to the win column. We're now 10 and 3, showcasing Iron Boulder. And this Pokemon is so much fun to use. Set up the Swords Dance, hit it with its brand new move, Mighty Cleave. Loved it so much, especially in that last battle. Played it really, really well. But we're hopping into our third and final. Looking for that winning record. We're 2 and 1 with one loss under our belt. One win, but the one loss was such a good battle. But we're going up against top tier meta. They got Meta Gross, Raging Bolt, Incineroar, Rillaboom, um, Fluttermane, and Urshifu. So. We could take speed pretty easily, right? Tailwind come out here, we can take speed no problem. And I think that's just a simple play for us, right? Take Tailwind, they could fake out, they could lead an Intimidate user as well. So I think Golden Ghost is just such a solid lead, right? It's just such a good lead. And it's something I actually really, really like. So I'm going to go into those two. I could set up Nasty Plot if I want to. Um, but in the back end, we could go Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder does have Sacred Sword. That'll be super effective onto the Metagross and onto the Incineroar. We have the Rock move. Rock move could do some damage, but I just want to showcase Iron Boulder, win or lose. And then final slot could go into a Fake Out user, Rollaboom, Incineroar, or even Urshifu just for some more attack power on this team. And I kind of like Urshifu because if I get Tornadoes out here, I wouldn't mind setting the ring. They have no way of weather control, so Urshifu could just come in here and clean up a lot. But Rollaboom's a problem. Rollboom's just a threat, so maybe we just want to go into Incineroar just for that reason. And I kind of do want to go into Incineroar for that reason. It just makes a bit more sense to me, especially if they see Urshifu and Tornadus. I would think they would pull out Rollboom a bit more here. <clears throat> so if Rollboom comes out here, we can have Incineroar in the back end, just kind of deal with it. But if they don't bring Rollboom, then it's, then, it's, then it's a problem. Then it's a big time problem. But we're just going to hope that they have Rollboom. We're just gonna hope that they do. But I love Iron Boulder so far. I feel like we showcased them pretty well. We got off the Swords Dance and just doing some big time damage in match number two. And we made the perfect call not to protect the Iron Boulder. Just to attack and make the read that they weren't attacking the thing. And it worked out perfectly. But the Bolt comes out here alongside with Fluttermane. And this seems like a simple turn for us just to maybe... Do I Nasty Pot here? Do I Nasty Pot? They're going to get a special attack boost. I'm almost positive that this Fluttermane probably just has Fairy Terror type. And to be honest, I think we just Tailwind. I think we just Tailwind and we Plot. I think we Tailwind Plot. Is that a bad call? Is that a bad call? I don't think it's a bad call. I think Fluttermane swaps. I really do think Fluttermane swaps protects. I think this is a fine Nasty Pot call. And we're going to Tailwind just in case Rage Bolt just wants to attack. Yep, there's Protect. Cool. Cool. So, so Rage Bolt probably attacks by Tornadus, right? But I'm going to set up Tailwind this first turn here. And we'll see what he wants to do. Thunderclap's scary, too. I'm going to get off this plot. I'm going to get off this beautiful plot. And he's just going to go for Combine. So if he sets up, I set up. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think from here we we, we might just want to just pop it, right? I'm gonna go bleak wind storm. Yeah, I'm gonna go bleak wind storm, and I'm do I pop to make it rain? Thing is, they swap it to incineroar. It's a little bit of a problem. Could just shadow ball the slot, or I could just shadow ball the flutter main slot. I 
The only Pokemon I could see him swapping into would be. No, screw it. We're probably making rain. Yeah, they withdrew. I should have shadow balled the, the Raging Bolt. Cinnaroar. Urshifu comes out of here. Okay. Urshifu comes out of here. We're dropping the Bleak Wind Storm here as well. Can you hit the Urshifu, please? I missed the Urshifu. I missed the Urshifu. Just terrible. Urshifu should be dead here. Should be dead. But now, instead, we lose Tornadus, right? No, you calm my... Oh, yo, you better, you better stop. You better stop. You better knock that off. Okay. Um, Bleak Wind Storm, Shadow Ball, probably your play. I think he's boosting up like crazy. I mean, he could go for... To be honest, he could go for a Thunderclap here and just end my life. So, you know what? Instead, I'm going to pop a Rain Dance. I'm just going to pop another Make It Rain. It's going to be my play. So what y'all's Earth What are you going into now? Back into Flutter Mane, show me. Little Boom comes out of here. So I'm thinking Thunderclap's coming our way. I really do, because you wouldn't swap into... You would not swap into him if you were thinking... Yeah, you're definitely Thunderclapping, aren't you? You're definitely Thunderclapping. You're definitely clapping Thunders, right? Yeah, you're definitely clapping Thunders. The Mega Rain's still gonna fly. Do some nice damage all the round. Um, we get a crit on the bolt. Um, do I swap now? I could swap. I could Terra. I could Terra. Kind of curious to see what we want to do. Another clap still might be able to KO me. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball this Raging Bolt slot. I'm Terrasalize. I am Terrasalizing. I think we could soak up a Thunderclap even though he's plus two. That's looking scary. That's that's a tough thing to say. But if we soak that up, I believe we get off another turn with... Or we can get we can set up another Tailwind. The Surge is kind of scary. I don't like that. He's gonna go for a Thunderclap and we now soak, which is beautiful. A big time tower for us. I'm hoping to be able to get rid of Rollaboom very soon here. Rage Bolt takes some damage. Shadow Ball is going to fly. I don't think we KO. Unless we get a crit. I would love a crit here. And then we don't. Okay. We get a special defense shot, which is pretty good for us. Um, U turn is going to pivot out here, and we survived that too. The Rollaboom's low HP. We have the rain set up. They're probably going back into Urshifu here. And now we're starting to have a little bit of an issue on our hands. Because Urshifu comes back out here. Aqua Jet. Definitely scary. Um, yeah, I think Urshfu is going to come out here. No problem. Yeah, there's Urshfu. This is such good. But the Raging Bolt double setup on the combo was so big. Um, this is tough. This is real tough. Because if I wish we would have hit that uh, that Urshfu earlier with Bleak and Storm. He should be dead. Do we even set up a Tailwind? Is it really going to help us out? Not really. Why did I set up a Rain Dance? I just realized I didn't bring Urshifu in. I would have never set up a Rain Dance if I remember that. This sucks. Brutal. It's brutal. That's so brutal. That's so brutal. I totally forgot we did that. I totally forgot we did that. So from here, we're going Bleak Wind Storm. We're going Tailwind. Or not Bleak Wind Storm. We're going Tailwind and Shadow Ball. It is rough here. We're going to see a Thunderclap come out here. Hold Ghost is going to be able to soak. And then Aqua Jet. No, you don't Aqua Jet, which we love. But this should KO, right? Cool. So we get rid of the Ursh. It's actually pretty big. Why do Yeah, I would have never set up a Rain Dance. I just wouldn't have done that. I just wouldn't have done that. Um, Thunderclap could come back out here. They could go back in the roll room. And I think they go back in the roll room. Raging Bolt's just being a, being a little bit of an issue here. He's being a big time issue. He's being a big time issue. Huh. Okay. So now we have to figure out ways around this. I set the rain for no reason. 
I set the rain for legit no reason, and I'm kind of upset at myself for that one. Huh. Okay. Now, I wonder who they're gonna go into. They got Fluttermain, it's gonna be Fluttermain, but I probably would've went into Will at this point. I mean, I think he just protects here, correct? There's no point for him just to not to protect. I mean... I could just protect you. You're probably going into Thunderclap, right? And that gets back some HP, so yeah, I'm just gonna protect you. You're probably going into Thunderclap into the Golden Ghost slot. Just to finish that off and then maybe attack him with Fluttermane. Makes the most sense, right? Definitely does make the most sense. Um, I still have Incineroar. Attack comes out from the Golden Girl. Thunderclap probably from Mr. Drea thing over here. And I guess not. I guess not. I guess you're not going. You're probably going for another Calm Mind. That's looking scary. That's looking real scary. And wow, we should have just... We should have just went for the... What's it called? We should have just went for the, uh... Yeah, you go for another... Wow, we should have just went for a move there. should have just went for a Steel move. I mean, now's a solid turn for us to do it, to be honest. Um, this thing's calm mind boosted again. Looking terrifying. I have a lot of speed when it comes to what's it called, though. Iron Boulder. Do I go into Iron Boulder here now? This thing's terrifying. This Raging Bolt's looking terrifying. Such a good match, though. Our opponent's playing really good. It looks like they kind of have us here. But, um, I could go into Incineroar. I could drop a nice little fake out. I could party shot turn one. Uh, but if I go into Incineroar, he is legit just going to... He's just going to protect the, uh, the Flutter me. Where is he? Yeah, he's just gonna protect Flutter me and allow us to fake out the Raging Bolt. I mean, I think that's something we have to go for, though. Is it though? Or I could just go in the Iron Boulder and start attacking. Because the speed boost is ridiculous. Yeah, that's I'm just gonna start attacking. So Boulder's gonna come out here. Um oh, dude, we let this thing set up way too much. I'm a quick jive up. Uppity up. And at this point, I'm just going to mighty cleave you. And do we still have Tailwind? That's the real question. We we do still have Tailwind, which is great. Yeah, I'm just gonna mighty cleave you down and I'm just gonna go for a nasty spot, thinking that thunderclap's coming through here. What I mean does protect. We hit through that, which is great. We do hit through that. Show me thunderclap's coming in here. Oh you thunderclap this slot. Which we survive. We survive. Mighty cleave coming out here. Hitting through protect and leaving you on one? Leaving you on one. Leaving you on one. Rain's gone. We could protect the Iron Boulder, or we could just straight up attack. We leave you on one. That hurts the soul, man. That really does hurt the soul. I think we still have one. Do we have one turn left hand one, or is it gone? Wow, there's so much HP recovery going on here. Region Bull is just hitting too hard for us right now. Grass is gone, and do we still have Tailwind? We do. One more turn, right? One more turn left in Tailwind. We're gonna start. We're gonna start attacking. We're gonna mighty cleave. We're going for this. Thunderclap could come out here. He just withdraws Flutterman. It's a smart call for him. This is such a good matchup. We're going back in the roll boom. And are, who are you thunderclapping? Real question. So we're gonna KO the roll boom here. Are we gonna KO the roll boom? Because if you thunderclap, it's gold to go. They went for a little, little roughness, and you stick with thunderclap in your slot. Smart play. Plus two comes out here. We got fake out ready to go, which is actually pretty big for us. And make it rain's gonna fly. Give me a crit onto the Rage Ball. No crit onto the Rage Ball. Yeah, this thing's just a problem, man. It's just a problem. We still have Incineroar, which is solid. We do still have Incineroar, which is solid. Um I think they protect Fluttermane here, right? Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Cause that now now Tailwind's gone. They wasted out the Tailwind. Just this Raging Bolt is just too bulky for us to handle right now. It really is. This thing's just way too bulky. Of course we leave it on one, dude. If we don't leave it on one, 
We're sitting in a way better position than we are. Incineroar now comes out here. I got Fake Out ready to go. Intimidate's gonna do absolutely nothing. And this, these Pokemon living on 1 HP just do me dirty. I could maybe Fake Out the Fluttermane. And read it going into Terror, right? Because they haven't used their Terror type yet. Is that my only way of winning? I could fake out you, I could protect. I should go for another Mega Ring. The Flutter Main protects. Okay. We live another turn here. Just double protect. Okay. We live another turn. This would have been big for, my, for Mighty Cleave guy here. Double protect is his favorite thing. We just hit right through him. I'm still upset that that Flutter Main lived on 1 HP. And somebody did it earlier. Who was it? Someone lived on 1 HP. And I think it was Mashable 1 and we lost because of it. Just absurd. Just absurd. It was Annihilate, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Annihilate. We get back some HP. Golden goes almost back up to full, but I... Mm, still in a tough position here. How many Thunderclaps do you get? This thing's just... Oh my god, so much HP. Just too bulky. It's special attacks through the roof. Plus three. Um... We can't, we can't really do anything up against this thing. We need crits. I could protect you now. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect Golden Go. I'm gonna hope that Thunderclap goes into that slot. Actually, probably Shadow Ball goes in that slot, right? I would think Shadow Ball goes into the, uh, the Golden Go slot. And Thunderclap goes into Incineroar slot, which Incineroar probably eats up, then eats up Berry. Wow, yo, the matches we've been having on the rank ladder have been so good. They've legit been so good. Like, swapping in and out, thinking out our turns, all that good stuff. They finally opted to Rastalize here. They're going to Rastalize Fluttermane, probably? Yeah, and Fluttermane's going to go into a Stellar Terror type. It's actually super cool. Love the Stellar Terror type. Stellar Terror type comes out here. And hopefully, again, you're just going for Shadow Ball in the Goldie Go. That's really what I'm hoping because they have me on the ropes. They have me on the ropes here all day. Thunderclap, yes. This slot, we eat. Like I said, we eat. We eat. And now we go into the berry. You go Shadow Ball into Golden Go. You go Dazzling Gleam. Oh, that's really odd. Why would you go Dazzling Gleam? That's going to KO me now. Why would you go Dazzling Gleam? It just makes no sense. Yeah, that's game now. Why would you go Dazzling Gleam? Really makes no sense. But I was hoping... Fluttermane would attack my Golden Go here. And wow, we should have just... We, we should have just uh, went into our move. We should have just went into Make It Rain. There was two turns where we should have just went into Make It Rain and we didn't. But yeah, I was really hoping that uh, Shadow Ball would come into the Golden Go. We would block it and Sinor would then KO the Fluttermane. Then we would go from there. But still, at that point, it would have been really, really tough. Definitely would have been tough to win this one. But hey, that's the match. We go 1-2 and two for today's video. Solid set of matches all around the board. So guys, not too bad today, went 1 and 2, but a record definitely doesn't tell the story. I think we played really well today, left a couple Pokemon on 1 HP, and if they would have died out, we probably would have won a few, with a few more of these matches. I think we should have went 2 and 1 for today, and grabbed you guys a winning record, but super stoked that we actually got to showcase Iron Boulder to its fullest potential. We set up some Sword Stance, got to use its new move Mighty, Cle Mighty Cleave, break some Protects, and on top of that, pick up some big time KOs. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. Me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.